Hey there, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create custom frames in Canva using Photoshop. So you can make uh, frames similar to this cat that I have here. Um, so let's just get started right away. All right, the first thing we're going to do is open up Photoshop. Now Photoshop is an Adobe product and it does require a monthly subscription. Um, if you have Photoshop already, this might be, you know, a good uh, method for you to create custom frames for Canva. But, you know, you don't need this to do frames. I have several other videos showing you how to do them with uh, Inkscape, PhotoP, uh, various alternatives. But in this video, we are going to use Photoshop. So the first thing we're going to do is open the file that we want to create a frame of. Okay, and I have right here this horse silhouette. Now you don't have to use a silhouette, and I'm going to show you how to create frames using a regular photo as well. But in this, just to make the first set easy, we're going to do... Um, the silhouette and when you come into Photoshop and open it up you're gonna go over here to the left you can either use your magic wand tool or um, you can just click on select subject in your little uh, generative fill tool all right and that's what I've done and it has selected the subject for me and I don't think in this one we really need it, but sometimes you may want to modify your selection and smooth it. <clears throat> I'm going to do it just by one pixel, but I don't really think it was 100% necessary with a silhouette. Okay, once you have your silhouette selected, the part that you want to turn into a frame, over here on the right, you will click on paths. If you don't see paths there, it will be up here in window and you can just turn it on. Once you have the paths tab selected down at the bottom, you are going to click on this little button here, right here. Can you see it in the lower right? It says make worth work path from selection. So that's what we've done. Now it is a work path. Okay, now we're going to go up here to edit. We're going to scroll down and we're going to click on define custom shape. And it is taking that silhouette and turning it into a custom shape for us. All right, now that you have that done, you're going to create a new file. We're going to open that up. And we are going to go to our left-hand menu again, to our shapes. And we are going to select the custom shape tool. And at the top, we're going to select our horse. And we are going to put our horse right here into this image. All right, and there's our horse. Now I'm going to go to File, Place Embedded. And I'm just going to grab any old image and I'm going to place that over my horse. I'm going to go back over to my layers panel. I'm going to right click on the pattern I just brought in and I'm going to select create clipping mask. <clears throat> now that pattern is in the shape of our horse. Okay, and we can move that image around if we want but we don't really need to. All it's doing is serving as a placeholder for us. So now that we've done that, we're just gonna go up here to File, Save As, and I'm going to save this as Horse Frame, and you're going to save it as a PDF. So we're gonna click Save, Save PDF. Okay, now we're done in Photoshop. We're gonna go over to Canva, I'm going to go home and I'm in my projects folder, add new, upload, and I'm going to go back here to my work in progress and I'm going to look for that horse PDF. There we are, the horse frame. 
And we're going to upload that to Canva. <clears throat> and we're going to open it up. And now we're going to select it. We're going to go up here to the trash can. Delete image. And there you have it. There is your custom horse frame. Now we can drag any image or pattern and drop it in there on top of our horse. And that is what we are going to get. Okay. Now that was just a simple silhouette. Okay. Let's go back to Photoshop. Let's close both of these. Now let's open another image. Let's look for something that is more like a, you know, a regular photo. And let's open this image of the cat. All right. Now say we just want to turn this cat into a frame. Again, in our generative fill toolbar here, we can select subject. And it has selected the cat for us. Right, easy peasy. And then we're going to go to paths just like before. Go down to the bottom. And we're going to tick, we're going to click on the make work path from selection. And it has made a path. Edit. Define custom shape. And it has made a shape from our cat. Now, this image wasn't the greatest because the cat is kind of cut off you see behind the uh, table leg but you still got the cat there let's do this one more time let's try and use a different image let's see let's go to let's go to Pixabay and see what they have. Let's search for a woman standing. All right, and we have some images here. All right, so let's say we want to take this one right here, and we want to make a frame out of the shape of this woman. We can just copy, new file. Paste that in there. Okay. Now again, we can just select subject. And it has selected our woman. Again, we're going to go to paths. Make work path from selection. All right. And then over to edit. Define custom shape. And there you can see there is the silhouette of our woman standing new file custom shapes go to the top select your woman that you just created and there she is and again we will place embedded we will bring a pattern in to place on top of her, right click, create clipping mask, and now we will save as woman profile PDF, and now we will go back to Canva, we're going to add new again, upload, Let's go find our woman that we just made. Open it up. Select. Delete image. I'm not sure why, <clears throat> but I've noticed when I use Photoshop, I, almost, I always have to do the uh, delete image twice. I'm not 100% sure why. I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong, if it's just something about Photoshop. But um, if you find yourself having to do it 
twice till it gets rid of the uh, image that you brought in. It's not it's just you. It you know I've been having the same issue. Um, like I said, I'm not sure if it's just me, if it's Photoshop. It doesn't really matter. The end result is the same. We have a custom frame in the shape of the woman that we can fill with whatever image or background we want. So that's how you make a custom frame in Photoshop. Um, it may seem a little confusing, but you know, at the end of the day, it's actually really, really simple. Um, let's do one more here. Uh, just picking a random woman. Or how about if we do a dog sitting? Let's see what that brings up. Okay, so yeah, you know, we can grab a, and a lot of these are on white backgrounds already. If you did want to use one of these, that makes it super easy. But I want to grab one that has a background so you can see how easy it is in Photoshop to uh, get rid of how easy it is just to select your subject. Let's go new, clipboard, paste. Okay. Now let's click on select subject. And it has selected our dog. Now this one, I am going to modify my, nope, that's not what I did. I didn't want to modify the borders. I want to smooth the borders. Okay, so we're going to do three. We're going to smooth that back over here to paths. Create work path from selection. And now we have a little work path here around that dog. And you know, you can click on your pen tool and you can edit these a little bit if you want to. Um, I didn't really see the need for it. So we're just gonna let it like it is. Edit, define custom shape. You can see your shape there, dog. And let's go over here custom shape. Let's grab that dog, bring it in. See, I'm not a real fan of this one. It didn't, it's too blobbish. You really can't tell what it is. So we're not going to use that one. Um, and this is trial and error. You know, you will have to uh, play with the photos that you want to use and see how they come out. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, you get the idea of how you can create this. Let's delete this dog. Let's paste this in. And let's make this a little smaller so the whole dog is on the screen. And select subject. All right, and now our doggy is selected again. Path, path from selection, edit, custom shape. All right, let's go over here. We're gonna use our custom shapes and we are going to drop the dog in. Now this one looks better. You can definitely see that is a dog and let's do the place embedded and grab our pattern layer, create clipping mask. And once again, file, save as sitting dog PDF. Don't forget it has to be saved as a PDF. And we'll go here to Canva and we'll do this one more time just so you can see. All right, 
Where are we? We should have a sitting dog. Let's open up. Delete image. Delete image. And there is your sitting dog frame. There you go. Okay, so that is how you do it in Photoshop. Uh, whether you want to use a simple uh, silhouette image or if you want to uh, grab the shape of, you know, a person or an animal or whatever from an existing photo, you can do that too. All right, so I hope you guys found this helpful. If you have any questions, um, please be sure to let me know in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as I can.